Welcome to this short video on Cognos Notebooks. A notebook is an executable document that lets you script code against Govern Cognos data. For those familiar with the Jupyter project, you can think of Cognos Notebooks as a Jupyter Notebook embedded within Cognos Analytics. In today's demo, we'll cover a few use cases. Let's first start with creating a notebook. Here we are within Cognos Analytics. And once the Jupyter server is installed and connected to the CA server, you will now find a Notebooks option in the Quick Launch menu, provided the Cognos administrator has granted permissions for you to use this capability. Clicking on the tab launches a notebook. The user experience here should be familiar to anyone who has used a Jupyter Notebook before, as we've not changed the standard UI. Our first step is to connect to some Cognos data. And to do this, I click on the datasets icon, and I find my dataset of interest through this dialog. It's important to note that security is respected, and you will only see data you're authorized to see. For this demo, I'm going to use a CSV file with some NHL data. And although I'm using a simple flat file here, all data sources Cognos supports today will be supported in notebooks also. Once I select the dataset, you'll notice a line of code being added to the first cell calling that data. So I go ahead and run it. And I'll add the following piece of code so I can preview the data I just imported. Now moving to the second scenario, I'm gonna do some very simple data shaping using Python. As you can see, we have shaped the original dataset into a simpler age versus goal scored dataset. And for our third scenario, I will write this shaped data back to the content store as a dataset. By adding the following line of code, I'm now writing this dataset as an uploaded file to the My Content folder. And now from the My Content folder, I can access this new dataset and create a dashboard in Cognos. Now this scenario is a great example of how notebooks can bring data science and business intelligence together into one ecosystem. For our fourth scenario, let's see how we can schedule and share a notebook. Let's go ahead and save this notebook as a first class asset. Select my folder. Give my notebook a name. And I'll go ahead and save this. Back to my home page. In the My Content folder, I would now see my initial notebook. From here, I could go ahead and view that notebook, and I could also share that notebook using a link or embedded in an iframe. Also, if I was to look in the Properties menu, I could go ahead and schedule my notebook like I would schedule a report, for example. For our fifth scenario, we will explore embedding notebook outputs directly to a dashboard. For this example, I'm going to use a notebook with some custom visualizations that you won't find out of the box in Cognos. Quickly going to run all my cells, and we'll preview the notebook here very quickly. Here are the visualizations. And now, as a dashboard user, I want to embed some of these visualizations directly to my dashboard. To do that, I go into my dashboard, click on the widgets icon, and then click on the notebooks icon on the advanced section. And that would drop a notebooks widget directly onto the canvas. From here, I would select a notebook, 
select my notebook of interest. In this case, it's the Viz Notebook. Click Open. In the dialog, you will see previews of all the output cells. Once I select the cell of interest, it will be directly embedded onto my canvas. In this case, it's the final visualization in the notebook. I select that and I click OK. It's important to note that this is a live link to the notebook cell. Every time the dashboard opens or refreshes, the latest version of that output cell will be embedded on my canvas. Essentially, it will show the output from the most recent notebook run. The timestamp on the top right shows the last time the notebook was run or refreshed, so you'll always know how recent your notebook output is. For the final use case, we will look at the upload capability. If you have an existing Jupyter Notebook, uploading it to Cognos is simple. Simply drag the file directly onto Cognos, as shown here, or use the upload dialog you'd use to upload a spreadsheet. This way, existing Python code can be imported into Cognos easily without a manual copy-paste of individual code cells. And that brings us to the end of this demo. Stay tuned for more great features in Cognos Notebooks. Thank you very much.